You deserve only good in your life. Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 206 of our BU 365 Day Challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us in some way, makes us a better human being. And this month, the month of July, we are focusing on the area and aspect of the life framework called contribution. How do we show up in the world? How do we give back to the world? How do we give value and make the world a better place? Uh, that's the majority of people I work with, at least in the beginning. Everyone that I work with has a, a underlying desire to make the world a better place. And the best way to do that is to become an ever-increasing better version of yourself. We grow and we develop over our entire lifetime if we are wise enough to do that. Now, do we have periods of stagnation where we're not growing so much and we're just surviving and getting through our, our weeks, our months, our days, and sometimes our years? Absolutely. But at some point, we and at different points throughout our life, we have growth phases and we're growing and developing and becoming the best version of us that we possibly can. And I decided, oh, probably consciously, 10, 12 years ago that I was going to strive to show up in the world in ways that I maybe hadn't been doing before because I was busy in survival mode, just living my life, raising my family, etc. And I knew that I had more to offer and more to give. So I started doing challenges and things and, and showing up in the world and sharing some of the stuff that I've learned because if I can save just one person from making some of the mistakes I've made, because we all like to figure out our own mistakes, right? Uh, I can help to positively impact the world and make the world a better place. And the best way we do that is just by being ourselves. Because secretly, and even sometimes not so secretly, everyone on the planet just wants to be loved and accepted for who they are and to be able to feel good about who they are. So today's card says, I deserve only good in life, in my life. And I say you deserve only good in your life because how often do we think we don't deserve something or we're not good enough or we... Um, you know, that's for other people, but not for us. I say poppycock, nonsense. Poppycock is really good karma for me, by the way. The back says, I release other people's fears and limitations. I think my own loving thoughts. Now, how many times have I said this year and last year and the year before and the year before that, think for yourself, think for yourself, think for yourself, because it eliminates fear. My uh, ex-sister-in-law said yesterday, fear is the devil. And whether you believe fear is the devil or not, I truly believe that fear, doubt, worry, uncertainty are all evil, and not evil, but they're, feel, they're feelings that are designed to make us feel bad. They're also feelings that make us realize that what we're doing, what we're seeing, what we're thinking is not for us. If we're worried about something, then what's going on is not for us because it makes us feel bad. If we're afraid of something, it's not for us because it makes us feel bad. And we have those things in our brain based on our past experiences, sometimes based on other people's past experiences, right? Uh, my mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law now, always would tell me about all the bad things that were going on in the world. I never watched the news and she knew that. So if there was anything that could possibly happen that might affect the kids or I, she would call and let me know. And so, um, there's plenty of people that'll let us know and keep us up to date on what's going on in the world if we choose to not participate in mainstream media and the mainstream thinking because guess what if we're striving to be a better version of ourselves, we are not the mainstream I wish it was the mainstream but it's not the vast majority of people are walking through their life in a trance and just going from day to day to day to day paycheck to paycheck uh, situation to situation, you know, challenge to challenge, and just then surviving each short-term challenge. They don't have a long-term vision of what they want to become and who they want to be and how they want to show up in the world, much less do they have any thoughts of making the world a better place. So, you deserve and I deserve only good in our life. Does that mean bad stuff is going to happen? No. Stuff is going to happen all the time to us, and it's up to us to take that, whatever it is, and turn it into something that benefits us. Uh, my, my best story about this is my sudden cardiac arrest in 2010. In 2010, I literally dropped dead in one of my businesses. And lucky for me, there was a person there, that the bartender, that knew CPR. So he jump-started and got me going. Well, they waited for the paramedics to arrive. So, and the police and the, the, the electrocardiogram whatever that zapper thing is they call some you know obviously 
an event that I don't want to know the details of. They have very little details of it because I was, I was gone, right? I wasn't there. I mean, I was there physically, but I wasn't there spiritually or mentally. So we deserve only good in life, but we have bad things that happen to us. But usually they happen for us and for a reason. We might not see it at the time, but always if I'm going back and reflecting on things that happened in my past, even the worst things that I think happened, even the things that I thought it was the end of the world, even the time I thought it was the end of my life, it turns out that was one of the best things that happened because it allowed me to take and stop and think about what I had been doing. And obviously what I had been doing up until that point was absolutely positively horrible for me and not working. And I personally needed a dead stop to make another choice and to go in, op in the opposite direction for my life. And so even though most people, and at the time it felt like it was the end of the world and that, um, but I, I was very grateful and fortunate and glad that I was brought back. But uh, at the time, there was a lot of times I went back and I thought, well, if I hadn't done all these things in the past, it wouldn't have led up to that. Well, if I had thought that and stayed mired in that and lived in the past and beat myself up for all of the not taking care of myself, working too long, not sleeping, not eating right, never exercising. If I had beaten myself up for that, instead of just saying, okay, I need to do those things now. I need to take care of myself. I need to sleep. I need to eat properly, not survive on Diet Coke, coffee, and Cajun spiced kettle chips. I need to make better choices. And so that's what I had to do. And, and each of us have kind of highlights and key events in our life that are there they seem really bad at the time, but they're there to wake us up and realize we can make another choice. We can start anew. We can do something different. So today our action item is just to share one good thing that happens or happened in your life today. Share one good thing that happened for you. And maybe you sprained your ankle like I did last week. And that might feel really bad because it's, it stopped me from going for my walks, which I love to do and spend time in nature. But it obviously was there to show me something that I wasn't looking at, that I needed to pay attention to, and it did. So lessons learned in everything, even if it just seems like something bad. So share in the comments below one good thing that happens to you today. I, it's the beginning of the day, so not that much awesome has happened to me yet, except my son-in-law did move the garbage cans and turn the one around that I put out backwards last night. So that was good, right? All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, leave will you tomorrow with another contribution you know the contributing area of our life how we show up in the world how we give back um, and how we improve ourselves to improve the world that's what this month is all about all right see you tomorrow bye